this K1 here. It's Friday. I'm off today. I'm so glad. I'm so exhausted. I'm stopping in my famous Dunkin' to get some coffee. Let me set y'all up here. I'm trying to pay attention. I ain't put the thing on my car yet, y'all. Put the window. So I'm stopping to get some coffee. I'm in the Dunkin' Donuts drive through line. Um, and then I'm headed to, since I'm off and I'm living in peace and harmony today, guess we'll still open at 8 o'clock. It is 7.58. Home goods, y'all. Home goods. My pom-pom kind of twisted, y'all. Let me get it straight. <laughs> Home goods is open, y'all, today. Good Friday. Good Friday. Happy Friday, like my DJ Hula said. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? It's rainy and cold out here, but that don't matter because when I get this coffee, I'm headed straight there. I want to treat myself to breakfast, but I don't know how I feel after I come out of Home Goods. And I got to run at Target. So I'm going to take y'all with me, okay? Hold on. Please hold. Good morning. Would you like to turn maple sugar bacon sandwich? Oh, no, no, thank you. Good morning. Uh, Good can, morning. What can I get for you? <laughs> can I get a large hot pumpkin with extra cream? A large hot pumpkin extra cream? Yep. All right, what else can I get for you? That's it. Would you like to add a muffin for a dollar? I got chocolate chip, coffee cake, or cranberry orange. Uh, you could give me the cranberry orange. All right, we'll see okay. you Thank you. I don't know, damn. Muffin, I don't know. I just, you know what? And then I'm going to pay it forward, y'all. I'm going to pay it forward today. Whoever this is behind me, I'm in the middle of two big trucks, Silverado and a Chevy truck. We get up here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that damn muffin because I have, like I said, I want to go to breakfast. Uh, y'all, let's let me get my stuff. Hold on. Y'all know one time I paid it for, and um, <laughs> we went up. I was with Dale, my daughter, and we went to Wendy's, right? Um, I asked, like, I always say, How much is the order behind me? That's all I say. I always ask, and she was like, And I didn't know the lady in the car had like kids and shit in, in the car with her and all this, so she was like, It's 19, no, it was 20 something, I think, because they had got the little meal deal things, child. I don't know. So I was like, you know what, let's, let's just do it. I think it's when I came back from Mexico, was it? I don't know. But I was like, let's do it. So <laughs> Dale was like, Ma, are you sure? <laughs> I, I don't mind paying for it. You'll give, you pay it for it, someone will bless you. You bless somebody, some, somebody bless you. And that's where I'm going right there.
Princess K1. Welcome to my channel. Come on in. Newbies, come on in. Come on into the crazy. And returning people, you know the deal. Y'all all know. Today is Friday. Um, Today I was off. I enjoyed a relaxing day, y'all. I went out, I did some errands, I ran some errands, and I came back and I went to sleep like from, I don't know, 12.30, maybe almost 1 o'clock. When I woke up, it was 3.40. That was some good old sleep, child. Just It was just a build-up from over the week. Um, the vlog is going to be set up in parts, okay? We're going to do tablescape, because remember, I got all that stuff to do my tablescape. Um, but I got to get it together, y'all. And I know you notice, know why isn't this a Christmas tree? It's coming. <coughs> it's coming, y'all. Excuse me. It's coming. It's coming. Anyway, I ran some errands today. I went to Target and I went to Home Goods. I got up. I was up early. I was out. And I said I needed to stop at Walmart anyway to pick up a few things. And But then I went straight to when I was in Walmart and I noticed... I said, what time does home goes open? If it's 10 o'clock, I probably don't want to go. But um, I looked at my, I looked it up and it was eight. I didn't know they opened at eight on weekdays. I, I'm not normally there at eight anyway, but remember I told you I like going when it first opened. So we're going to get into the things I got. A little bit of stuff from Walmart. This is not a haul, but just, I'm going to show you some of the little things I got from Walmart, Target, and Home Goods. Just some little, little decor and little household crap. That's all. Nothing big. Um... Hope everybody's doing well. Hope your week is doing well. Hope you're not stressing about the holidays. Remember, I told you don't do that. Uh, let's get it going. You're watching It's Just K1, y'all. Please hold. Kick it off with Walmart. From Walmart, I didn't have that much, y'all. I didn't have that much. Um, Walmart, I basically went in to get paper plates. Excuse that, y'all. That's just crap piled up that I just wrote flipped around here I went into Walmart to get paper plates uh some Gatorades a lot of a little household stuff little brownie bites y'all know the brownie bites that's, that's, that's the bomb the brownie bites uh something else from Walmart y'all need to check out me and my son love these I don't know if you checked these out before it's just a basic lemonade it's not a lot of sugar y'all let me break it down for you it's 130 calories but this is a 44 ounce I don't drink this in one serving. It, I drink this over a couple of days. It's pretty good. I wish they had the pink lemonade in this flavor. It's very good, y'all. Very good. It tastes like the old school lemonade, but very good. I saw somebody on TikTok with this, and then I was like, is that Walmart? I need to get me some. So me and my son, we tried it. We like it. Okay, so Walmart. What I got from Walmart was, like I said, a little household stuff. I don't even have that in the bags anymore. I think I put it up. I got me, you know, I'm famous for the hoodies, zip, sweatshirts, pullovers. I got a navy blue one you always see me in. I got this one. I wear a lot of the house head um, hoodies, especially like now. I like wearing a t-shirt. I always like wearing a t-shirt, but I also like wearing something over it to layer. So I went into, like okay, I like the men's hoodies over the women's because the men's are a little bit thicker. Found this in the men's section at Walmart. Um, this was $24.99. I'm gonna show it to you. Let me zip it up. I found this. So it's just a basic. It's got the little, I guess it's supposed to be a polo. I don't really care. It's the hood. It's just a hoodie. It's the zip up version. Gray. It was $24.99. Uh, here it is. It's by, uh, well, it's by U.S. Polo Association. But it was twenty four ninety nine. I thought it had the price on here. Maybe it just had the rack thing. It's twenty four ninety nine. This is just you'll see me in this soon. It's just a zip up hoodie. That's all this is. It's nice and soft. It's got pockets. Okay. Then you got now these. I love you all. I love. I found these by accident. I went to. Oh, I went to Walmart also to get some socks because I have footies. I ordered those socks from Amazon, but I wanted. Uh, in between the socks that I got from Amazon and the footies that I always wear, I wanted another thin layer of sock. I don't know how it's hard to explain. The, the socks I got from Amazon, they're black. They're a winter sock, but I wanted a thinner sock in between. They didn't have it. Walmart didn't have it. 
but anyway, when I was over there in the section, they have a lot of things that are boxed for Christmas. So I saw these and I fell in love and they come in different colors and I cannot wait to put them on. Look at these. They're like the little, I call them like, uh, they remind me of a little, um, like Eskimo shoe or whatever, but they're so soft in the inside. Look at the inside. And they have little grips on the bottom. And they're supposed to be by, who are these by? Love Spun. But see, they got the little grips on the bottom. And they come in gray. They come in chocolate brown. They come in black, a black and a gray mixed together. A uh, chocolate brown, I think, and um, this color gray. This color, the solid gray. So these are so cute. I cannot wait to put these on. They are so cute. And they were only, I think they were $9.99. They're called slipper socks, knit slipper socks, faux fur. Um, I thought the price was on here, though. And you know Walmart prices is on the, on the shelf. Um, but they are so cute. I hope when I cut these things out, it doesn't jack up the material. Because you see they're soft. But I cannot wait to put these. I think these are so cute. And your feet are going to be so warm. Because I sleep in socks, y'all. I sleep in socks. My feet can't be cold. They cannot be cold. Vacation too. I have my footies on. My feet cannot My feet cannot be cold. I can't even sleep comfortably. But I'm not going to sleep in these. But these are so cute. You know, I'm a house shoe. I'm a house shoe. A slipper queen. I like I like the little cutesy stuff that's out. Especially for the holidays. But these came from Walmart. Get there, y'all. Pick y'all up some. So, that's Walmart, right? Okay, so let's move on to Target. Target, these, I've told you all about these a million trillion times uh, at Target. And I don't know if you went and got them, but you know, know that I talk about the Kleenex cloths to dry your hands. After you come out the bathroom, you can set this up in the bathroom like this. You can also let it um, hang over um, your towel rack like this, and it'll just be like that, and you pull them out the bottom. These are very good. We use these all the time. We are in love with them. We fell in love with them during COVID and we never got rid of them. Target has them for, I think they're three or four something. Um, Jewel Grocery Store has them also. But I, I usually go to Target and get them. And now they're starting with the Christmas box um, version with the design. This, ain't go, this don't go in my bathroom, this design. But I just got one of the Christmas box. So I got four of them. I put one upstairs already. Um, but yeah, check them out. They're for when you wash your hands, which you're supposed to be doing anyway. So that's Target. Uh, another thing I got from Target was, I had an idea, y'all. Y'all knew me and my ideas. I wanted to, like I have, I will insert picture. I have that vase, that big vase, and I have my pompous in it. But I, f I feel when I walk past that vase uh, and the pompous, you know, pompous is just so, come on, say it with me. It's the way it lays out, you know, it lays out like a peacock. And I feel that, I feel, Kay feels, when you walk past it, it should be some type of scent, even though you can't you can't hook a light to it. You can't. So I've been trying to do different things. Like I had the the uh, what you call beads in the the things you put in a dryer and a washing machine in a baggie in there. Somebody told me to do that. That didn't work. I put some type of little air freshener. That didn't work. I like put them down in the top so when you walk past, you could only smell it a little bit. I put a toilet um, toilet paper roll down in there and put some oil on it you can smell it a little bit so today while i was at target i picked this up i know you've seen this a million times i've already opened it the like in target right now a lot of stuff in the candle section is kind of disorganized um but i like when they have their um what is this called when they have their um what would i call this diffusers uh, did all the different ones. You know, they have a bunch of them. They have some of the candles, those dark brown ones where they met the diffuser matches that. Then they have just random diffusers. I like when the diffusers match the candles that they have there. A lot of times that section is so messed up. You have to dig and dig and dig and get fine. So today I found two. One didn't have the candle, so I didn't know what it smelled like. But this one had the candle. It's called Wooded Sage. 
and it's with notes of cypress, olive, olive leaf, rosewood, and charcoal. So it smells kind of masculine. Um, aromatic reed diffuser. So this is the box. I took the thing out. It's right here. And it does smell good. It smells like a it smells like a good smell of man, y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> so right here is a diffuser. I don't even remember what this calls. And it's wooded sage. That's the label right there. And I had opened it because I was going, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. And their sticks are different. They're wood, unlike the other ones, the plastic. I'm going to open it and put this together and put it up there. But I'm going to set it like behind the vase with the pompous. And then, you know, just like normally you switch them out and flip them over. And then the scent will come up in aroma behind the vase. Came up with that idea, y'all. Check it. Do it for yourself. So, uh, this will be my first time trying this scent. I don't know. It smells pretty good. It's very masculine, like I said. And you can tell it's masculine because wooded sage, rosewood charcoal, cypress. I mean, that's kind of masculine. But I'm going to set this up. And I'm going to show you the vase so you can see what I'm talking about and where I'm going to put this behind. So that's all we got from Target. I was on my way to open it up. That's why I look all crazy. Like I got chopsticks going on, child. That's what we're going to do with that. So, uh oh. So next, with Home Goods, I got there, like I said, I got there early. When I first got there, y'all, it was like an epiphany. When I walked in and there was no other people, there was like maybe, it was maybe 10 or less customers there. I was like, I mean, when I, when I got in there and I wrote the cart and it, when I was going past each house and I didn't see but like one or two people, it, it was just like, oh, it was, y'all don't know. Y'all just don't know. Usually that store is bumping, humping with a trillion people up in there. You can't breathe. People coughing, sneezing. It's back to back with the carts. It was just look so lovely up in there. So. I went up there originally because my son is starting to eat all these different damn cereals. So the boxes. So I don't want the boxes. I want to put the cereal in containers. And I know that I could have ordered some off Amazon, but I wanted to see the container first before just picking something and buying it. So I knew Home Goods had the containers. That's mainly what I went there for. And then, of course, I picked up some other stuff. So let me show you those containers. We're going to put cereal in them. And then... I was saying that I might start back to my raisin bran because I love me some raisin bran. Um, and I, I probably won't need a tall one, but he eats Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Cookie Crisp. You know, to me, those are straight go-to-the-bathroom cereal. Anyway, so I found the ones that were very expensive. They were 14 And then I had bypassed these, and then I came back. Then I went back again. So I got this. This is called Smart Seal Food Storage Container by Neoflam. I got this from Home Goods. This is a 91 ounce. So what I did, another thing I was in there doing, I had to type in my phone and Google the largest, the large cereal box of gold, whatever and compare that to the size of this because i didn't know and then the ones that were 14 they were this was 91 the other ones was 3.4 liter so i did the comparison of 91 ounce to a 3.4 liter the 91 ounce as far as liters would be i think it was uh two something 2.7 so this will fit this this will work with this so these were only 5.99 at home goods so we're gonna check these out and the way they work is see the top you just twist and it comes off and i guess you would uh, have your cereal and you shake it on in the bowl or you could i guess you could put a little i don't i don't think people put use the scoop for the cereal no more unless it's cheerios <laughs> and put, oops, you pour it in there and then um oh it says do not use abrasive cleaners or materials or to wash containers okay and then you just put it back on. And I had found another one, another style, but this does the same thing, same size. But the tops weren't, and they were cheap. They were, like, this is $5.99. Those had the nerve to be $7.99. But when you close them, they weren't staying closed. I would close them, and it would pop up. 
clothes pop up. Then I had to hit it. And I was like, oh, no, because then when the cereal get in there and you sit it back up there and you think it's clothes, that junk will all tumble over. So I got two of these. It's going to be for the cereal, for his cereal. And they're going to sit right on top of the refrigerator. Won't take up a lot of space because they're thin. And these were called, again, the Neoflam Smart Seal Food Storage Containers. And as you see on the pictures, they use them for different things. Uh, they got cookies in them, pasta, um, nuts, vegetables, their cereal, everything. So these are going to come out pretty nice. Got to wash these and set it up, set it up. And then next, I told you all about that garbage can that we got up there. I told you all that... I think the garbage can that I picked up was for a student in a college, in a dorm, because it's too small. I mean, <laughs> our garbage can, our old garbage can didn't get filled to the end of the week. This sucker get filled like on the second day. <laughs> so I think I got, I think the size I got is like this. So it's, like I said, it's for somebody that's concerned about a lot of space. You know, it's in my eye, y'all. And, um... But the one I got today, it's back to the the normal size of a can that, sorry y'all, something is in my eye. Eyelash. So, um, the one I got today is back to the normal size of the cans that, ooh, y'all. Oh, um, it's back to the normal size of the cans that we normally have. So, excuse me for getting up, y'all. So, this is back to the regular size can we have. This is not the size that's upstairs in the bathroom. Okay, so I got a new one. I love these that you step on, that you ain't got to touch the nasty, nasty. I, you only touch this when you're going to take the garbage, take the, the bag out. But I like the step on. The reason we had the problems with the trash can in the beginning, because somebody stepped on this and broke this. Damn, what I mean what what is it it's a garbage can how hard are you stepping on a garbage can please, uh, please make me understand that okay so I mean it was living with me for years and I never broke it because you're supposed to step lightly and it's gonna open and you just throw your crap in and it's a bag in here that's it so this one was nice uh, it says soft closed lid this is it from home because it's from AMG bath collections it's a five liter step in so the one upstairs right now is smaller than this the one upstairs is probably like this it's probably like 3.2 or something like that it's not like that so this would be nice to substitute i don't think i would give the one upstairs to anybody i don't know i don't think i would donate it i feel weird donating the garbage i'm just gonna throw it out it's this tiny nothing else we need it for i'll be wondering sometimes why they always had this hook on here so what you just pick it up and take it out to the garbage I mean, I'm not taking this outside. What is the hook for? Somebody tell me in the comments. Why is the hook? This don't hang up against the wall in the bathroom. This sits on the floor. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Remember Grover on uh, Sesame Street? <laughs> Grover! I mean, not Grover. Uh, what's the, what? Cookie Monster. <laughs> the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch lived in the garbage can. Y'all know. Don't be trying to act like y'all know about Sesame Street. Anyway, this was that. So we're going to put that to the side. I don't know what the hanging part is. I just don't know yet. So, okay. And then I found some cute stuff. So here go the, here come the bougie part of K. Okay. Um, You know, y'all know I drink coffee, right? So y'all know I drink coffee. I'm a coffee drinker. But I also like tea, and I like um different types of teas. I'm just not into the teas deeply. But I don't want to get deeply into the teas, but I do want to get more into drinking tea. Like, do the alternate with coffee and tea. So, Home Goods had these cute little, y'all Y'all gonna be like, if that ain't bougie, it bougie does. She wrapped it up. See, they did good. They wrapped stuff up. I know you can probably tell what this is. You already tell? I should do a giveaway. Can you guess what this is? Can you guess? Anyway, okay. So, let's unwrap it, y'all. Okay. This is so cute. It's so cute. I just thought it was so cute. Look at that. Isn't that darling? Now, they had different designs, y'all. 
So they had this where this was a little different with colors and stuff on it. But isn't this cute? This would be a great gift for somebody. It's the little tea kettle. I don't think this goes on the stove. I think you're supposed to boil the water and pour it in here. Um, these are little tea bags, 18 different flavors. Uh, it's called fruit blends. This is called the Spot Organic Tea Kettle. There's the name of it. And look, isn't it? It's just so cute to me. It's just so cute. I just can't wait to sit on my table and have a cup of tea. So that's the little spout thing. And then um, I was reading these are all different, uh, different types of fruit teas. Uh, it says hand blown borrow borrow silicate glass, heat resistant, 120 Celsius, 248 Fahrenheit. So this is almost saying I, I, I'm not gonna put this on the stove or on no heat. I'm going to pour the water in here. But you got to think, you can't go over these temperatures either. So on this end, it just says, um, or produced in China. They have a website, spotorganictea.com. And this was only $14.99, y'all. See it? But it's so cute. And they have other ones. Like I said, the other ones are basic. They have larger. And then they have where this part is different. It's like a little uh, stained glass on the top. Excuse me. So... I thought it was so cute. I kept coming past and I kept saying, that is so cute for the bougie and K. Yes, to have you a cup of tea, girl. You get the tea while you pouring you some tea. So anyway, we're going to sit down with this over the Christmas holidays and have some tea. And look at all the different types. I mean, look like they got lemon in there, blueberry. I mean, this is a great gift to give someone that is a tea drinker. This is cute so cute so then I kept saying I need a glass 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 for tea but I have glasses um, I have glass coffee glasses that I can use for this so I had picked up a glass I had put it back so that's nice but then I did see a coffee cup y'all know I'm the coffee queen so of course they wrapped that too this is just a cute this was on the rack where they were trying they were going to put the more product out they hadn't put it out yet but it was tagged so this is just a basic coffee cup and guess what it says? See, it was three ninety nine. That's home goods. Guess what it says? And I want you to know this for you. And I'm gonna follow it too. You got this. Don't worry about nothing else. What about you and what you doing? You got this. You got this. So remember that you got this and i thought this was so cute with the rainbow um colors on here and it's real big it's the type of coffee cup i like uh as big as my cake a little bit bigger than my k cup my k uh coffee cup but i like this and it looks different and unique and you know i'm a coffee queen so so yeah so that's what i got from home goods you got this but you always remember that remember that you got this don't be down be smart Move on, move on, move on, move on, push forward. You got it, and you can do it. Okay, so we'll wrap this back up. So we ain't gonna drink out of this right now. But that tea kettle is just darling, y'all. Dar I cannot wait. When I'm off doing the Christmas holiday, y'all, we're gonna get some tea going. Yeah, we're gonna get some real tea. So put this back in here. So that's... Oh, let me wrap the tea kettle back up. That was the little, it wasn't really a haul. It was a, just pick up a couple of things, like I said, from Walmart. That was it. So it was the garbage can, the tea kettle, the coffee cup, uh, the containers to put the cereal in. Um, and then from Target, the cloths and the diffuser, which I'm going to set up. Um, let you see that. I already had the lemonade. And uh, I think that was it. That's all I had. And some house, a little house also. And you all do see my burgundy pillow. Nice and, and this is the pillow cover that I showed you last time. Look at it. Nice and luxurious. And there's my burgundy throw back there from Walmart. And boy, when I was asleep today, y'all, I was up under this brother. I washed this already. And down it up, and I was sleep up under this, and it was going on. I mean, I was in heaven. See, 
Remember I showed y'all this? I had got this from Home Goods. It was reduced down. All I did was wash it and downed it up. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I'm trying to throw this back over here, y'all. <laughs> so, next we're going to get to Tablescape. Thank you. 
Hey, 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 y'all. I am Kay, and you're watching It's Just K1 here on YouTube. As you see, we got the tablescape together. Uh, what I did was basically I wanted to have more so I can move things around and take things out, put things back in. As you see, I didn't use the white cream Christmas tree with all the little pearls on it. Um, and I didn't use that white cottony snow stuff because it had too much damn glitter. I wanted some, I know they have it in the bag where it's just the white cottony snow without the glitter on there. It looks like, um, I guess it would look like um, if you took a whole lot of um, cotton balls and made it like that. I know they have that. I just got to find it. I didn't know that that bag of that stuff had glitter on it because on the pack, you can't tell. You can't look at it and tell. So basically, if it was working, if it was right, I would have put the um, the white cottony like that looked like a cloud or you know snow under the uh, where the reindeer were and stuff like that. So if I still find it, I may add it, and when I add it, I'll take pictures. And so after that, and other than that, I think it's fine. I think it came out very nice. Um, um, I really like these. These are placemats, y'all, from Home Goods. I really like how these worked out. I may even um, come forward and put another one under there. So when the um, coasters sit on top, they'll be sitting on part of this. So I may put another one right in front of it. These are very, very nice, very nice. If I had a dining room table, I would put them on there. Um, the lights came out fine. Um, these lights also have a timer. If you want to get some, they came from Target. Um, I had them last year um, because in my bathroom I did a, it was like a cone filled with ornaments and then I put these lights in there. We don't have these lights on like all night long because the tree is going to be up, but I put it on from time to time in the bathroom, like in the evening until we go to bed and it looks very pretty. I think I took some pictures of it last year in the bathroom. Um... But I think it turned out pretty well. Like I said, the only thing that was getting on my neck was the glitter. The glitter was everywhere off that white cottony stuff. It was everywhere. And that was pissing me off because I don't like it to be everywhere. Because if it gets on your hands or gets on your face or your eyes, that glitter can cut your eyeball up like nothing. Um, so I think it, I think it turned out right. All it takes is with the tree, with the lighting, a little more playing around, moving that wire around. Like I said, I have a couple of boxes of these. So I don't want it to have, it doesn't need to have more just a little touch of light, and that's it, because the light's not going to be on all the time. Uh, but I think I did good. I think it turned out right. The red, the red beading, the red cherry, whatever these things are, um, they can be moved around. They can be bend, bend out, bend in. Um, they don't have to stay in the same direction they are. That's what I do like about them. We have come to the end of this vlog, y'all. And um, I think right now... What is today? My anniversary was Monday, December 5th, and today is the 9th, I think. I don't know. It's Saturday, y'all. Um, I think I'm up to, would y'all believe, I got some more subscribers within those these little couple of days. I think I was at, what was I at, 280 Monday, I think. Let me see what I'm at now. Please hold. Stay safe, y'all. Hey, hey y'all, I'm at 293. So that's that's pretty good, right? 293. So I think I was at 280 Monday. I think I was at 280. Yeah, I think I was at 280. And I'm at 293. So hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be at 300. I mean, that's a that's an accomplishment also. The 280 was an accomplishment. But just in that little time from 280 till Saturday, which was like what, five days ago, I'm at 293. So come on, y'all. Let's get to that 300 before the end of the year. We got some more vlogs coming. Um, I have some more stuff for you all coming. I got the picture frames that's coming. I got the right size picture frames. But after y'all that, I think my tablescape came out pretty good. I like it. Um, I'm sure with all the lights out, it's going to look real cute. And then the tree will be up soon, y'all. I didn't forget. I just don't feel like going through all the drama with the tree and the box and all the S-H-I-T. <laughs> y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot. People don't understand that when you put up, they see the end effect. When you put up all your Christmas crap, you pull out all those containers and all those boxes out the garage, out the basement, from wherever, the storage, the ornaments, all the other decor that goes with it. Because... I just don't have the tree. I got decor because I like decor. So it takes time and you have to be in the right mindset and you have to have the energy and, you know, positive 
vibes going to do it. You can't be tired. You got to get in there and get it. And when I get going, I'm fine. But sometimes if I'm tired or whatever, I'm, I won't even start it. So like I said, it's coming and more decor is coming. So just stay tuned. Plus we got, what else we got for the rest of the month of December? We got cocktails and appetizers coming y'all. Some new, something new is coming y'all. So I got, I got it. I got it coming for y'all. I got you. I got y'all under control. Okay, town. I got you. I got you. I got you. So anyway, um, I thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you like the tablescape. I hope you like, um, the little, not, that wasn't a haul idea. It was just some stuff I bought. I hope you like that. Also, I'm wearing a Chicago soul shirt. This is from my brother, from another mother down in Nashville, Gerald Mandela, get at him. He is the person that runs House Music Nashville. Of course, House is everywhere. It's everywhere, y'all. It is in Nashville. I haven't, I think I went to one of the parties they had, but I need to get back to Nashville. I've been to other parts of Tennessee. Um, well, I'm not sure House is at, but <laughs> House Music is in Nashville. So if you're in Nashville, holla at Gerald Mandela. And these shirts, I love them. Chicago Soul. He sells a variety of shirts. Get at him. I will link him below. Um, there was nothing to link today on this except uh, maybe some of the stuff from earlier. I think. No. Because that was Target, Home Goods, and all that stuff. So I t I'm just going to list the stores. Target, Home Goods. What else was it? Walmart. I think that's it. I really think that's it. Um, and I'll link Gerald Mandela and his uh, site for uh, his contact information if you want to get you some shirts. He does house shirts. He does house music. I mean, he has house music shirts. He does the Chicago Soul shirts. These are very popular with people from Chicago and all over the world. And then he does some other shirts. So get at Gerald. Um, no, I don't have anything else to link for you all. I think I, I hit everything on the head. So that's about it. So I'm going to get out of here and join me a glass of wine and get me something to eat and, um, have myself a good old evening. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. I hope you enjoy yourself. Be careful. Be safe. I will wrap a taste with you. Mm -hmm.